Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to cover numerical aptitude. Every time you are expected to get one or two questions from this portion. The main aim here is to assess your number reading ability. The questions asked from this section are primarily based on finding age, estimating profit and loss, ratio and proportion, computing averages, etc. The main prerequisite for solving problems here is that you should be familiar with solving simultaneous equations in 1, 2 and 3 variables. However, UGC net rarely asks questions which have 3 variables in it. Although you can try such questions as they are not much different from 1 and 2 variables. So let's dive in and do the first example. Ram's mother ages 3 times his present age. After 10 years, his age will be half of his mother's age. We need to find the present age of Ram. In such kind of questions, we first identify the variable that we need to find and usually denote it by x. And then, based on the given information in the question, we try to figure out the numerical value of x. So here, let the present age of Ram be x. Since it's given that his mother's age is 3 times his present age, therefore, the present age of his mother would be Tx. Now, after 10 years, Ram's age would be x plus 10. And his mother's age would be 3x plus 10. And according to the question, at this point of time, Ram's age is half of his mother's age now. Therefore, x plus 10 equals half of 3x plus 10. From here, it's simple. Multiply two on both sides, LHS and RHS. We get 2x plus 20 equals 3x plus 10 or x equals 10. Therefore, Ram's present age is 10 years. In UGC net exam, similar questions are asked. All you have to do is frame the correct algebraic equation and solve it. Now let's look at the second example. Two numbers are given in the ratio 3 is to 4. If we subtract 10 from both numbers, then their ratio becomes 1 is to 3. Find the number. So this is a question involving two variables. Let the numbers be x and y. Since their ratio is 3 is to 4, so we can write x upon y equals 3 upon 4. Therefore, 4x equals 3y or we get an expression for x, x equals 3y by 4. Now, if we subtract 10 from both the numbers, the new numbers that we get are x minus 10 and y minus 10. The ratio is given to be 1 is to 3. Hence, x minus 10 divided by y minus 10 equals 1 divided by 3. On solving this expression, we have 3x minus 30 equals y minus 10. Now, as we already have an expression for x, which equals 3y by 4, therefore, if we plug in this value of x in this equation, we will end up with this equation in variable y. On solving it, we get y equals 16. Plug this value of y here and you will get x equals 12. Therefore, the numbers are 12 and 16. Let us look at the last example. The average runs scored by Sachin in 10 one day internationals is 60. Then he plays 4 matches and his average becomes 65. We need to find out 
the total runs scored by him in the last four matches. Let the total runs scored by Sachin in the first 10 ODIs be X. Since the average runs is given as 60, therefore we have this expression X divided by 10 equals 60. This implies the total runs made in 10 ODIs are 600. Now suppose the total runs scored in last 4 matches be Y. It's given that the average for total 14 games is 65. Hence, X plus Y divided by 14 equals 65. Which implies X plus Y equals 910 or Y equals 310. Therefore, in the last 4 matches, such a made 310 runs. So, this is the end of numerical aptitude portion. So far, UGC Net have been asking similar questions in the exam and hopefully they will continue to do so. So, that's it for today. Keep practicing. Thank you.